I'm Maria Fackler and I'm Associate Professor of English at Davidson College and I also teach in the Gender and Sexuality Studies program here. And my specialty is British literature since 1945, but since I've been at Davidson I've been working on the history of the novel, which is of course a lot longer. So I work on material from the 18th century, 1726, all the way up to the present. Um, so a couple of the classes that I've taught uh, at Davidson, I just want to mention those before I go into the seminar that I'll be leading for CTI. I teach, obviously, the British literature since 1945 and history of the novel. I taught a class beyond Prince Charming, which is about marriage as a social contract and institution. Thinking Girls, Thinking Boys, about girlhood and boyhood. And then I've got some juicy ones, Desire and Gossip, uh, which are two of my interests in my scholarship as well as my teaching. And I'm teaching a course on avant-garde literature this semester with books that fold out like concertinas and that you can shuffle like a deck of cards. But I also teach literary analysis, um, which is where I got the germ, uh, the nugget for this seminar, which is entitled The Art of Fiction, Close Analysis, Style, and the Novel. Because close reading is really at the center of everything that we do in our English classrooms, but it's um, a skill that you can translate out very easily to other disciplines. So once you understand the mechanics um, by which an author creates meaning, then you can use that if you're looking at an historical document, or it will help you write a better lab report, because close reading is just like detective work. Understanding, like I said, the mechanics of how a sentence makes you feel something, if you feel unsettled by the opening of a novel, why do you feel that way? The author is working on you to get you to experience those emotions. So an example would be um, when I teach Emma by Jane Austen. Sometimes my students will come in and say, I hate Emma Woodhouse. And I say, well, you know, she's a representation on the page, so there's no need to hate her quite so much. But Jane Austen is working using her narrator to get you to feel that way precisely about the character Emma Woodhouse, despite her cleverness and her loveliness. Um, so I'm interested in not only looking at uh, fiction in this seminar, but also non-fiction, because you need to read non-fiction in terms of literary criticism and theory to unpack or prize open the novels that you're looking at. And I've also thought about um, looking at Fun Home, which is a graphic memoir, of, uh, a non-fiction piece uh, by Alison Bechdel, but the one that takes on um, so many aspects of novel reading in terms of its content. Um, and thinking about the relationship between form and content is always an important thing to do. Um, as soon as you get new content, you have to change the forms of writing and of the novel to accommodate that new content. So content is always the arbiter of form. And I want to think about also how um, uh, there's a quotation by Martin Amos, style is morality. And we always think we want our morals to stay pretty much the same, but we want style to change and evolve. So how can we reconcile that statement that style is morality per that author's suggestion? The great thing about the novel is that it can absorb and take in other discourses. When you read Saturday, a post 9-11 novel by Ian McEwan, he has done so much research on uh, neuroscience and, and, and his central character is a neurosurgeon. So he had to have learned all of that in order to put that novel together in the way that he did. So I can imagine that people who work in sciences and social sciences could still get a lot out of the seminar because of the content of the novels. Um, I've also, in my own research, close read many, many different things, not just novels, including documentary film. I've close read children's books in my writing, Eloise, and um, a children's book by Bette Midler. So there really is a lot of room to maneuver and follow intellectual curiosity in the seminar, and I hope to see you in it. Thanks so much.